All right, so this is going to be exceptionally difficult to get a good angle on the freezer walls. I've got an old copy of the uh, PGMS brass photo etch here. This was actually a bad print that Pablo was selling uh, on the cheap with the initial run when it came out. And there are a few pieces missing here, and that's why. So what I've done is, since a few of those are painted over, I've used drill bits to try and figure out what best fit will go on here. And the smallest bit I have, well, the smallest bit I have several of at least, because I know I'm going to break them, is a uh, 0.5 millimeter which is slightly slightly too large for the holes right here but it does in fact fit through and to prove me wrong of course it's not going to fit through there we go did that even get on camera let's do it one more time so the trick I'm finding is center the drill bit first then start it give it a little bit of a push and then it'll go through. It's not really making the hole too much bigger. It's like a hairline. Actually, it's less than a hairline thicker, really. So my initial idea, as stated in a previous segment, was to take a uh, sewing needle and kind of push through on all these little holes here. That does not work at all. And what I'm actually doing to do this, I'm actually looking through these back walls here trying to get a good aim going on. And really, before I glued these walls in, I very much should have cleared all these parts out first. That was a big mistake right there. It's made everything much more difficult. Just having to remove the freezer tubes was one example of that. So I went to the dollar store and I got myself some 3.5 power reading glasses. I can't wear them too long without getting a headache, but they do do the trick, initially at least. So what I'm probably going to wind up doing is drilling every one of these holes as new again. That will ensure that I get the best possible fit, ease of placement, and uh... Even though it's going to take some time now, it will make the fiber optic threading much, much easier. So you can see this is going to take a while. Let me count up actually how many of these there are. So it looks like there's 36 per panel. So 36, 72, 144 plus another 72 is uh, 200 and something. Low 200s, 212 maybe. So this is definitely going to take a while. And if you haven't seen this little tool before, this is called the Tamiya Handy Drill. I've uh, modified it a little with some magnets on the side so I can kind of attach it to my wall and keep it out of place. Very handy tool. It runs on two AA batteries. That's the fastest it goes. It's fast enough to cut through light brass and plastic, but not so fast that it will actually melt it while it's doing it. For $30, this is what I would call an essential tool to have in your arsenal. One of the things you may be thinking is why not just drill from the back? And what essentially happens is if you miss one of the holes in the brass, you will actually push that off of the plastic. So it's really no good. You got to go from the front. There goes one drill bit. Two bits and almost one ninth of the way done. And I only have seven or eight more of these. Which means I will run out if I continue at my current rate of breakage.
And so, several hundred holes later, and only a few hours, maybe two, three at tops, I've re-drilled every single hole here available. And I have also, just a few moments ago, glued these aluminum tubes down to the back sides, four of them, two in the corners, two on the walls. I've tested it out and the .5 millimeter fiber optic will fit so I don't need the .25 at least for the freezer walls I may need it for a couple on the uh, command console way up here there's a few very very tiny holes well let's test that out right now actually because I'd rather use the .5 where possible and it does in fact fit the .25 is just really really thin and difficult to work with so I try not to use it where possible and the .5 is perfect I may wind up needing some .75 and it looks like at least four pieces of one millimeter coming up for the command console but my first task I think is going to be the freezer walls here I don't particularly have any kind of strategy at this point not quite yet at least I will be needing several aluminum tubes down here and depending on how many fibers I wind up going with well it's gonna be hundreds I guess so in that case I may wind up needing some 10 millimeter LEDs instead of 5 millimeters these tubes here are good for 5 millimeter or three millimeter but five works better and I will have to figure out how this is going to go it's definitely going to get crowded a lot of these fiber optics here I'm going to have to stop those pretty much close to where they are just so they're not spreading out too far which means there's going to be a couple blues in here I know the big fat ones are for blue there's a couple thicker ones that should be for red some of those are going to blink some are going to be steady in flight log 26 I pretty much went over all of these notes here just for LED counts there's 50 steady reds alone and uh, command console pods a few slow blinking reds not too many greens looks like yellow and white are the next most numerous there is no cool white it looks like oh I may be using cool white for these so that's something I got to think about. It's either going to be yellow, blue. Now it looks like I've got freezer walls down for blue. That would be these. But I don't know if I'm going to go with that. One thing that happened while I was working was this little brace here off the top of this guy here, which I had broken before once, has broken yet again. So I'm going to leave this off until much much later simply because I don't want to break it yet again so into a bag it goes and with that let's test an idea here be nice if this just happened to squeeze through one of these holes for convenience sake here we go so here's what I need to know the overall length of how long this fiber optic is going to be and even then this isn't necessarily a good example simply because it's way off on the edge not going to a center con not going to a center uh, column like this guy here for example uh, so chances are I'm going to want each thread to be least a foot long. 
this stretch here that I just pulled out is 14 inches. That's going to be a little long. But it looks like 12 is the length to cut to. How I'm going to cut... How many of these were there? 100, 200 something? 224 feet. That is a lot of fiber optics. Jeez. At a foot each. An awful lot of fiber optics. And most of them I can probably get away with cutting six or eight inches. So, what I guess I'll do is cut a few different lengths. Definitely cut them into one foot lengths. And then from there I can cut those into six inch lengths. So, it looks like I've got a lot of cutting in front of me. Which means i got to find some easy way to cut a lot of one foot lengths real easy. Let me get back to you.